Good morning, I'm Anna Dangerfield and I'm the president of the Friends of Hopelands and Rye Patch. In 1970, when the city of Aiken accepted the winter estate of Hope Goddard Island, they wanted to maintain her values, her visions for the gardens. And in 1971, when the Friends of Hopelands was organized, we too wanted to honor her vision. Mrs. Island wanted her gardens, her 14 acres, to be a quiet haven for the citizens of Aiken and our visitors, a place of quiet reflection, renourishment, and refreshment. She wanted no hawkers, no peddlers, no commercial enterprises, no ball fields, no sports, no, no swimming. She wanted these to be peaceful gardens. And I think with me, as you look into the gardens, you will see that the friends and the city have honored her wishes. As you look into the gardens, you also see the numerous projects that the friends have helped complete. We have furnished the, um, the monetary means for some of these uh, projects, but we've also done research for some of the projects, such as the pavilion on the Roland H. Wyndham Performing Arts Stage. You can imagine our excitement when we received a couple of months ago a grant from the Hope Goddard Island Foundation, which is enabling us to provide a new brick sidewalk to run in front of the Roland H. Wyndham Performing Arts Stage. It will be in place in time for our concerts in the garden, which start April the 5th. In 1981, the family of Dorothy Knox Goodyear Rogers gave her winter estate to the city of Aiken. Thus, we became the Friends of Hopelands and Rye Patch. And we began work, we helped to renovate the uh, Gertie Carriage Museum, as well as to renovate and refurbish the uh, stables, which now house the historic horses of Aiken. We want to thank the city for being such wonderful partners over these last 50 years. We also would like to thank the Mills Foundation and the Island Foundation for their support. And we also would like to say to the community of Aiken, thank you so much for your financial contributions. Without you, we could not have done what the Friends accomplished. We also appreciate when you are um, elected to be a trustee, we appreciate the skill sets that you bring to help us complete our work. Thank you to the city also for the wonderful videos that you have produced over the, this last year. So I would say to the community of Aiken, please come out and see the gardens, come and see the historic horses of Aiken, and come and wish the Friends of Hopelands and Rye Patch a happy 50th anniversary.